What's up boys and girls? Kevin from Singer Biology here. So today, what are we working on? Now, if you guys remember, it's been about a week since Rodrigo laid down his new challenge for me, and that was the siphon challenge. Alright, now, I don't want you guys to think that, you know, I conceded to him and I'm not answering to his challenge. I've been really busy, but, you know, I'm the type of guy who wants to think things through this time and really nail this challenge, right? But I sat down and I thought long and hard about it. Why reinvent the wheel? When there's something good out there, you can just use it, right? There's no need to reinvent the wheel. But before we get to that point, I mean, where did this whole siphon challenge start from? In, in his previous visit to my facility, you know, I was explain, explaining to him how to do his water change system and how to modify his tanks, right? And it all started from this system right here. This is something that I created to have a permanent siphon so I don't have to suck on the hose, right? And with the ball valve. And I guess he's trying to modify that for a situation for you guys at home where maybe you don't want to leave a permanent hose hanging on your tank. I mean, if that's cool with you guys and you can, this is the best way. It's just permanent there and then you have the hose just laying down here, right? And you can just have your bucket. But for you guys at home who don't want to do that and want to have a, a solution where when you're done changing your water, you can put away the hose, well, Rodrigo came up with his idea. Now, we all know Rod is a very impulsive type of guy. When he gets an idea in his head, he's like, go, 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 right? I'm completely opposite. When I get an idea and I want to do something, I take my time and I really, really want to think it through all the positives and negatives and will it really work for me? Now, yeah, Rodrigo came up with a siphon idea. It works. Is it really practical? In my opinion, I don't think so. You got to have two valves and water, stagnant water stuck in your hose when you're not using it. I don't like that. I like things clean and simple when you're done. Put it away. Yeah, I don't want stagnant water sitting in the hose. You might not use that hose for another week or two weeks, right? Or God forbid you turn the, you turn the wrong valve and that stagnant water goes in your tank. I'm not about that. So what took me so long to answer this challenge? Let's go take a look. Rod is at the gym right now, okay, and I'm taking this opportunity to quickly squeeze in this video because the package that I've been waiting for has finally arrived and I want to answer to this challenge before you guys all think that I, you know, bowed out. I ordered some stuff online. What do we got here? Let's check it out. I found this stuff on Amazon, okay? I'm gonna take a look at this stuff. Like I said, I, I don't believe in reinventing the wheel. If there's something good out there and it works, just use it, you know? So first thing that I found is this, okay? This is a squeeze bowl to help suck the water in the hose. And it's, it's a very simple product here. Come in closer, right? You basically attach the hose here, which I have a hose right here, okay? I have a hose for every single one of my tanks, and yeah, I do it the traditional way. I suck on the hose. All you gotta do is just take this hose, attach it, and watch. Here we go. It's really simple. And you know what? It was really cheap. This thing cost me like six bucks. I think Rod's whole project, he said it cost him about 20 something dollars, right? And it's all clunky and whatever. This one I'm done, I just roll it up, put it away. But let's see how this works. I have never used it yet. It's literally right out of the box. Let's see here. Got my bucket right here. And they say, just give it a couple of squeezes. And look, there it goes. Which is so simple, from the tank to here. Now I'm done, roll it up, put it away. How simple was that? And I don't need the extra hand. You saw how Rod had the two valves and he's like, he needed one to hold over here and he needed another hand to open the other valve it's it's not practical I, you guys all know I'm a practical type of guy I'm trying to get this video done before he gets back so let me show you guys again really one two two squeezes and there it is okay so now I know what he's gonna say he's gonna say well the one that he made it was a, he, he was able to siphon the gravel and whatever. 
So I, I looked a little bit more, and this is the second package that I found, okay? Now, again, no one's sponsoring me. I'm just answering to his challenge, and um, I don't like to just do things over and over again. So let's put this thing together really quick. See, everything's unopened. I've never, ever used this thing before. The reason why I picked this one, because it has this little screen and, and the tube for you to siphon. So let's put this together really quick. Really quick and simple here. I believe it looks like it's just uh, this thing twists onto here. Okay, what does it say? It says water flow direction that way. So I'm guessing the hose goes on this end. So let me use their hose just in case the sizes don't match. Okay, now, and this is something I typically don't do because I don't have gravel in my tank. So it's not necessary for me to siphon gravel. But for those of you guys at home, who do have gravel in their tanks and want to siphon. It looks like it just goes like this. Okay, here's a tube. Um, we'll just use one tube. That, that's probably a connector for the two tubes like that, right? For you guys with the longer, deeper tank. And then here's the screen, right? Rod put his screen, so this prevents the fish from going in. And then I'm guessing this is the gravel cleaner, right? Where you can clean, sift through the gravel like this. So all this, all in one package, and I think this one only cost me like $12 or $15, I don't remember, fairly cheap. So let's put this thing to the test. Okay, I'm not gonna use the gravel cleaner, you get the idea. I'll just put the strainer on for visual purposes. Um, uh, let's see, I guess this one goes right here. And you don't have to kill yourself like how he did going nuts putting the hose onto that uh, male adapter. That's it. Here it is, it looks done. Let's give this a try. Again, I've never used this before. Here we go, in the tank. Let's see how many squeezes this one takes. That one was pretty good. It was just two squeezes. Look, one squeeze. This one works even better. And look, here we go. See, I'm not gonna suck the fish. I can move it around, sip it through the gravel. Let's pull that out. Put it away, empty the hose, no stagnant water in the tank. I think I maybe even like this one even better than that one. I mean no disrespect to Rod, he's a great guy, I love him like my brother. Um, but again, sometimes he's too impulsive, you know? I know he wanted to make a video for you guys, he wanted to lay down another challenge, but sometimes it's just unnecessary, right? DIY only really comes into play, in my opinion, when it's something that's really expensive. Uh, the, I mean, what it, DIY comes into play when it's, it's something that's expensive for you to purchase, right? And you're trying to save money, so you want to do it yourself. And we get that, building your own aquariums, building your own filter sums, you know, water change systems. Those kind of things that cost you hundreds of dollars to purchase, yeah, everyone wants to save money. So we come up with these do-it-yourself ideas to try to save money and as long as it works and the fish are alive and happy, that's great. But something this simple as a hose and a bulb to squeeze to, to siphon, I feel it's not worth the time that you're gonna waste racking your brain, trying to come up with something. And even if you did come up with something cheaper, was it worth the time and effort? Even though it was something cheaper it's Rodrigo calling uh, anyways um, even though he can come up with something and it's fairly inexpensive is it was it cheaper than what I was able to achieve here in this case no because he said he spent 20 something dollars I spent between six to fifteen dollars on this and I got the whole set and it works better now Given that maybe, if even if he was able to do it cheaper, how much cheaper can he save? Or how much cheaper can he go? A dollar? Two dollars? In my opinion, it wasn't worth the time to run to Home Depot and do all that stuff. I just went on my phone, went to Amazon, ordered it, and it showed up. So, again, DIY is for those expensive projects where you're trying to save money. In situations like this, we're just gonna, you know, order it. Because people have already created it for us, right? So, again, there's no reason to reinvent the wheel. If you can perfect 
the wheel further, okay, I give it to you. But if something that's nearly perfect and it works, there's no need to waste your time. So the phone kept ringing, Rodrigo must be done at the gym. Uh, hopefully I can finish this video before he gets back, but you know what? Let me give him a call, see what he wants. Maybe he got lost, he's new or unfamiliar with LA. Hello? Yo, where are you? Oh, you're getting the straps at Home Depot? Yeah. No, we're good. We're good. Um, uh, I'm just working on a video right now. Oh, okay. That's why I was calling you and Oya. I was like, where's the nice one? <laughs> well, I can't really go. Why are they ditching us? <laughs> we're not ditching you. I'm answering your challenge to the ho the siphon challenge. All right. Okay, so I'll, I'll walk right into the video. <laughs> all right, bye. I think with Rodrigo's nature of him being impulsive, in many ways it's a good thing and in many ways it's a bad thing. For me, maybe I work too slow sometimes, I think. You know, maybe I think too much and I overthink things. And you know what? I think that's why Rod and I make such a good combination. We balance each other out and we find the middle ground. And I think that's just like the perfect combination. So he's... He's actually helped me to, to be more aggressive and do things in a more aggressive way. And I've actually mellowed him out and tell him to take it easy, think things through. So it's a great balance. It's a good partnership and I like it. Now, as I was using this one, I noticed something that was gonna be a little bit awkward. Um, and I just quickly came up with something that would make our lives easier. The problem was, you got one hand holding it down on the bucket and the other hand in the tank, so it's hard to really maneuver. All you need is a little clip like this, right? So I'm thinking, to make your life easier and have your hands free so that you can move around, I would, I would start off by just clipping this thing right here to the bucket. You see, now my hands are free. And I got this in here. And I do the squeeze. Here comes the siphon. Look, oh, there it goes. And now my hands are free. Now I can do whatever I need, move around, siphon. I got both my hands free. So that was just another quick little thing I wanted to add on to there. So maybe that's my little DIY contribution. The door. Oh, who's that? Oh my goodness. You think that's right? <laughs> Don't let him see what we're doing. Yes, can I help you? I heard something room. about DIY. What's no, going no, on here? No, no. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, yeah, God. Mommy, mommy, it was my first time at LA Fitness. Uh -huh. Okay. Hey, Kim, what are we going to eat today? In and out burger. No, protein. <laughs> protein. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I was working on the DIY challenge. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Did it work? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see, let me see. Well, all right. I don't want you to say that I was cheating, okay? <laughs> I didn't really make anything. We bought it. I bought it. Okay. There's no point to to re yeah. reinvent the wheel. Okay. Yeah, if it works, if it works, it works. See. It works. Okay. So okay, come come over this side. Let's let me show him. So I was telling everyone, it took me a week to answer to this challenge because I was just waiting for the stuff to show up. I mean, I know you went to Home Depot. You <laughs> bought all your crap. I don't want to say crap, you bought all your stuff. Screw stuff. You said it cost about, what, 20 bucks, you said, right? 15, 20. 15, 20. Yeah. 15, 20. All, right, yeah. all right. This cost me about 15 bucks. Okay. Plus so shipping from same. Amazon. But this works great. It's got the same little screen you had, uh -huh. right? The hose. But look, let's put it in there. One squeeze. Oh, there was water in the hose. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I never said that. I never said that. One squeeze. No, no, no. I did this like four times on the video already. All right, here we go. One squeeze. See, there it goes. Now I, I added that clip before just so that I could have my hands free and you can siphon. But I was telling everyone, you don't really want to leave the stagnant water in the hose, you know, because people at home, they're not cleaning their tanks every day like how we are. Right. They're doing it once a week, maybe once every two weeks. So that bad water somehow ends up in their tank. It's right, they open the wrong valve. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I like this it's a lot. Okay. And look, it has That's another right. attachment for cleaning the gravel. So this was the block fish. So this is made from fish tanks? Yeah, yeah, look, I ordered it from Amazon. Like I, I told everyone already, we're not sponsoring anything, but you know what, it's made in China. Chinese people are 
<laughs> well, see, I did, that's why I didn't know about that. Okay. <laughs> oh, look, let's see. Let's see if it works for me. Let's say I'm a new hobbyist and I want to clean some food. Just get in there. One squeeze. How easy was that? Yeah. You don't need another person opening and closing your valves for you. Yeah, and no, I think you want. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll let everyone decide because I technically didn't DIY, but. I just felt there was no point to DIY. Can we DIY the same thing? We can try because for maybe you need bigger hose, right? right? And I found this one too where it's a bigger hose. It's similar, but we just didn't come with all the attachments. But you can add the attachments yourself. But try this one out. This one's pretty cool too. This works as well? Yeah. This so basically to make them to a bigger one, we just get a bigger squeeze. Yeah. yeah. But that one twice. Have to squeeze. Well, this is twice. Yes. Oh, well, one. twice work. Well, it's a bigger hose, so it needs to draw more air. Okay. Oh, see? Oh, it still works. If you're very strong, you only do it one time. <laughs> so this is, I'm not going to lie, like, if I have to choose, I like your idea. It's because easier. it's easy, you already came prepared, and it's about the same price. Yeah. That's more for smaller tanks, though, too. Right, yeah. But, but it's, yeah, so you have the DIY one. version. DIY is for people who want to save money on uh, stuff that's expensive, like right. building your own aquariums and stuff that's going to cost hundreds of dollars that you can make for, like, you know, half the price. Right. But this, if this is save a dollar price, or two, yeah. this is no point. And it's like, you can just carry around, I mean, hopefully they'll sponsor us one day, we're, we're promoting their stuff. <laughs> but no, I think you want this one, I'll All give right. it to you. Alright, cool. cool. He concedes, we got it. Alright guys, so thank you guys for watching. Um, we're going to be at Prehistoric Pets tomorrow, right? That, that Sunday, the 4th or 8th. Oh, uh, what's the date? Just twenty. I think twentieth, right? The twentieth. Yeah. So it's actually it's tomorrow, Sunday the twentieth. So make sure you post your video today. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna post it today. Prehistoric pets in Fountain Valley. So if you want to come meet us, we will be there. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and give me all the positive comments. All right. That I beat this big guy here. He did. Today he did. Today. Right. Today. All right. Peace.